Howdy folks. You know, when they talk about global warming and parts of the earth cooling because of global warming, they, they are saying that? I would really like to know who this they are. It's not any of the world scientists saying this. The world scientists are saying that climate divisions scattered across Earth's surface, some of those are cooling due to human-caused climate change, not due to global warming. Global warming. Globe. A sphere, i.e. Earth. <clears throat> the whole system, as an average, has warmed and is warming anomalously due to human activities. Divisions of climate along the surface, some of those are cooling due to human-caused climate change. Climate is the energy budget of different regions on Earth. If you add energy to the whole thing, the energy budget is disrupted all over the surface. The divisions of climate on the surface change their energy budgets. Some regions cool, some regions warm. This is so simple, even a six-year-old can understand it. Hello, my name's Alexander Tiana. I'm six years old and in the first grade. I have my whole life ahead of me. Or do I? Climate change is threatening my entire generation's future. Link to that video, note zero in this video's description. I highly recommend people go and watch that video. It is beyond awesome. Well, a lot of conservatives don't understand that. I'm one of the few conservatives who does. So I'm going to demonstrate how this happens in a very simple way. What you don't understand, and it has absolutely nothing at all with being conservative, because conservative does not mean stupid. So get that out of your head. You don't have to be stupid. Even though you consider yourself a conservative, you don't have to be stupid. It's not a requirement. Where the fuck was I? Yes, here we are. What you do not understand is the difference between climate change and global warming. Regions of Earth are cooling, not due to global warming. They are cooling due to climate change. Must I get out the six-year-old again and educate you on the subject? Yes, I must. The devastating effects of climate change have already begun to take a tragic toll on all of us. Hurricanes have grown stronger. Tornado season in the U.S. has become more lethal. Climate change has already come to your state, whether you are aware of it or not. Dude, you got your cerebellum's ass kicked by a six-year-old. Just saying. Right here I have five ice cubes. These five ice cubes are going to represent the Arctic. Huh? This bowl represents the Earth. Huh? Okay, now I'm going to put these in the microwave to demonstrate how global warming can actually create cold spots. It doesn't. No scientist says it does. Global warming does not create cold spots anywhere on the planet. Climate change does. Now do I have your attention? I hope so. Because we need to act now. So, let me see if I understand this theory correctly again. You don't. I suggest you talk to the girl. The environmentalists are saying that global warming is occurring. Yes, because all of the world scientists are saying that also. See notes 1 and 2 down there. 
is not just the environmentalists or all of the six-year-olds. And because of that, there are cold spots that develop on the Earth that are like really, really cold, like the Wisconsin winter we had this last year. Yes, an extreme weather event on one tiny fraction of the planet. Global Regional Climate Division. Must I unleash the six-year-old again? Until you understand? The result will be catastrophic. And this won't be in the distant future. It won't even be soon. It's happening right now. Alright, so here's five more ice cubes. Here's a pan. Once again, the ice cubes represent the Arctic. The pan represents the Earth. 